Hello, I'd like to talk to you today about this wall hanging. This wall hanging was a pattern from Pat Sloan's Block of the Month Club, I believe it was. It was Sweet Dreams. And I believe she released a pattern every month. It could have been um, a shorter time span than that. This um, pattern I've had down for a little while. I did the piecing and my sister did the quilting for me. Not really liking how I have it hung. It's just hung by a central point and it kind of ripples a little bit the way it's hung. But it's a beautiful wall hanging. And what I wanted to talk to you today about is how this pattern, the way it was presented on Pat Sloan's website, was for a full quilt. And this is how I want to inspire you today, is to let you know that you can look at some of these Block of the Month clubs and different patterns that you see on YouTube in different places and make them your own. You don't need to make a full-size quilt. You can use those same blocks to make wall hangings, table runners, placemats, oh so many things you can even go onto some of these sites and if you don't like one of the blocks that they have that month you can look at last year's postings and they have blocks of the same size possibly that you can interchange um, this quilt was done with shades of blue and with white you could make it scrappy um, you could make it any way you'd want color wise. Um, I liked blue. I, I do a lot of my things in blue. The other thing I wanted to show you from um, Pat Sloan's website was my version of her jelly roll. Again, this was for a large quilt. This piece I have not yet quilted. Um, haven't bound it yet. It's pinned. It's got its layers. The middle layer is flannel and the outer layer um, for the back is going to be white. And I believe I'm going to bind it. Um, well, maybe I'm not sure which color I'm going to use to bind it. We'll have to wait and see what I all have left over. So in Pat Sloan's Jelly Roll quilt, she has in the center um, of her blocks a small star. I chose to make my star have these elongated sides. So to do that, I just changed the um, the size of the piece that was used for the star. And then I added another little piece here in the middle to give it a, another, oh, there's my kitty cat. Hello. Um, to give it a, another focal point. All right, so this is just another example of how you can take what is offered and change it. Use your creativity, use your imagination to make it something of your own. Again, these are two things that were inspired by Pat Sloan's patterns. Um, she has a lot on her website and on her YouTube channel. All right, I hope I can be of an inspiration to you and hope you have fun quilting. Bye.